Good morning. Welcome to Monday Sculpt and Tone. Uh, please make sure you're fit and well to train. You have clearance from your GP and you are aware that exercise can cause injury. Um, this morning we're doing a mix, mix of things. We're doing upper body burn, probably some shoulders and some arms. Uh, make sure you've got a set of light, medium and heavy weights. And you're back. Nice. Um, I'm going to put some PPL free music on and probably just a half hour class this morning for a Scots and Tone. So we'll see how we get on. Let's see who we got. Annette and Colin, welcome. Linda, hello. Halle Bailey. Lorraine. Looks like Betty's in there as well. <sighs> oh, that's funny. You're hardcore Harriet is what you are. Okay? And what happens when you sweat and the hair dye runs down? <laughs> right, Lorraine. My pink lips are on today. Take challenge. I thought I had to go on the gym thingy. Morning. I know. Uh, I decided I wasn't doing it live on Evanesh Leisure website today. So this will be a recorded one if you're doing it. Welcome. Right, let's go. So I'm going to put some tunes on. Uh, did it work? Yep. I won't put it too loud because I always get it copyrighted. So what we're going to do today is focus on the muscle groups that we're working. Uh, towards the end of the workout, maybe we'll get some isometric moves, which is a holding move. Um, so warm up, roll the shoulders. Here we go in there. Casey Fraser, Carolyn Collin, nice to have you all in. Please make sure you're in the leisure people that you take and view the class on the leisure website. We need more than five views per class. If you want to keep training with me during lockdown. Heels to bum. You can look at all my classes if you like. Even if you're not doing it. First block, we're going to work onto the floor. If you've got a bench, you could use a bench. Uh, it's going to consist of chest press, a supinated chest press, and a combination of the two moves. Alrighty? So, if I'm lying on the floor, excellent. Thank you, Carol. So, if I'm lying on the floor, chest press, palms face down or out, and you're going to push your arms like so. When you break, can you see the elbows? are in line here. You don't want to be chest pressing with your arms up there on the floor. It's going to hurt. So that 45 degree angle, can you see that's 90 and that's 45. That's what you're looking for. And when you come down, the elbow stays over the wrist. No? <laughs> the wrist stays over the elbow. So I don't want you pulling down like this. I know I'm standing up. Um, right, grab your heavy-ish weights for this. Okay, I'm going to put my back to you, so I'm not going to be able to see you. I'm not even going to be able to see the workout. 16 reps, uh, 8 supinated, and then we're going to do 2 and 1. Slow tempo. Okay, so when you supinate a curl, I'll show you what that is. Pick up your weights before you lie down. Oh, how's it, Dilly? Right, so there's my, my arms ready for chest press. Press up, keep the palms facing out. Okay, it comes over the nipple line at the top. Can you see me? Head is down, feet are down. If you are on the floor and you want to add in core, you can lift your legs and push. Okay, I'm just keeping mine down for the now. Right, we got 16 reps. Let's go. One, two, three. Breathe out as you push. Four, push your low back into the floor. Five, straighten the arms at the top. Six, seven, shoulders back and down. Eight, one, two, three, four, five. Should be feeling the burn in the shoulders. Six, and the chest. Seven, eight, okay. Next one is a supinated chest press. So when you come up, you supinate 
and turn the palms facing in. Okay, so that activates the tricep. Go, we've got eight. One. Squeeze, two. Feel the chest, squeeze the cleavage. Three. Four. Five, feel the triceps. Six. Seven. Eight. Just rest them down quickly. Now, you're going to combine the two. I'm just checking how many moves. Two chest press, one supinated. Combo move. And we've got four. We'll go for six reps. Okay. So, two chest press. One. Two. One supinated. That's one rep. Two. Two. We go for four reps. That's two. Three. Two. We're going to take three. Holy heck. One more. One. Two. Yeah. And rest. You're feeling that. So we're going to do one more round of that. Okay. If you haven't got super heavy weights, add the legs in to do core. Okay. Man, I love I can feel that. I don't know how you're doing this with head eye and this is. Right, are we ready? One more set. Pick up your weights. 16. Touches the floor, push up. Eight. Eight. Head is down. Last one. Ready. Chest super neck. Ooh, wee. Triceps. You ready? Eight of them. Squeeze. Squeeze the tricep. Holy moly. Okay, we got two chest press. One supinated, four reps. One, two. Holy triceps. Two. Squeeze the chest. Three. 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 Four. Four. Uh -huh. it. Oh my god. So your abs are on then. Alright, come up. Woo -wee. Let's just stretch. Now we're going into the triceps. So definitely go lighter. To your lightest weight. Alright. Triceps are already crying. So you've got something called a rolling tricep. Okay? Your palms face in. So imagine if I am lying down. I just want to show you the arms. Normally when you do triceps, it's skull crushes like this. This part of your arm doesn't move. Okay? You would normally just do this. What you're going to do is down, up, down, up, down, roll, okay, on the floor. And then we have got lat pullovers, all right? So there is eight and eight of this. I'm going sideways so you'll be able to see the move. Go light, okay? So, can you see me? All right, keep the weights head width apart, otherwise you're going to crack your skull open, and we don't want that. So you're going to fold, rock, in, up, down, it's a rolling tricep, the end of the weight touches the floor. Holy moly. So I'm saying, Bella got it into my head. Six, should be pulling on the triceps. Seven. Oh my god. Right, that's eight. Lap pullovers. 
So you can push the weights together on this one if you want. You breathe in. Don't touch the floor. If you want to add legs, extend out and then that's three. You got eight, four, three rounds of these. So rest it out. This is not conducive to dying your hair workout. <laughs> Alrighty. You ready for round two? So, like I said, choose wisely on the weight. You don't want to go too heavy. There's lots of reps on this one. 24 reps. So we've got now eight again. You ready? Weights are shoulder width apart. Fold, roll, tap, lift, fold. Width apart. So I probably could go marginally heavier, but I don't want to wreck my arms. I've got four hours of training. Ah. Should be feeling that in the tricep. Okay, left pullovers. So if you keep them shoulder width apart here, they're harder. And then if you push the weights together. <sighs> Don't touch the feet or the hands down. <sighs> Rest. So, normally I'm going crazy, crazy, jump around, sweaty workout. So, it's this one is just a weighted workout, not so much a sweaty workout. Oh, it depends. Maybe it is. All right, so we're concentrating on form and technique. Work through the muscle groups. All right, let's go back. Last set of rolling triceps. Keep them shoulder width apart. If you're not feeling your triceps, then you need to go heavier, or you can just add the core in, watch your head. Linda, if you would not want to do this round down, it's a bit late telling you now, but you could do tricep kickbacks. Oh my goodness. Alright, you ready? Breathe out as you come together. Try and keep your arms nice and straight. Feel that pulling into the left. into a staggered row, a front lat raise, and we're going to combine. So I would suggest having light and medium weights and do a quick switch over with the weights. So this is for my lateral raises, these are fours, and the staggered row, uh, I'm going to use my sixes. It's just a, a bit of a row to a stand. Okay. So we are looking for uh, 10 and 8. All right, so pick up your weights, tip from the hip, row, and stand. Okay? If you want to, you can do two. Should we do two rows? No, we'll just do one. Okay, you ready? So feet just under the shoulders, tip, row. Elbows in, if you have a look from the back. Tip, flat back, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
Ten. Pick up your lat. Okay. Uh, lower the lift. Alrighty. Front and lateral. So we're gonna lift there. Eight. Two. Three. Four. Push your chest out. Soft knees. Five. Six. If you only have really heavy weights, that's eight. You can do uh, just lift to the sides like this to take out the front raise or there. If you've got super heavy weights, you see that? So that's a 90 90 lift. Alright, so I'm going to keep these just because I'm not going to be switching weights. So you're going to tip, row, stand up, and do a lat raise. You ready? Tip. Row, stand, lift. Two, alternate sides. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Last one, eight, and yeah, recover. And knuckles. We're gonna rock on, we did. Right, so I'm just gonna pick up the heavier weights for the bent over row again. Uh, 10 reps, and then we're gonna do front raises, and then we're gonna combine the two. Oh my girls. Right, you ready? Bend over row and stand in between each one. Tip, row, one. Flat back. Can you see that nice line on the back? Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Pick up the lighter ones, shake out the hands if you need. Okay, front and lateral raise. Puff out the chest, shoulders back and down, soft knees, and lift. We've got eight reps. One. Two, only lift your shoulder height. Three, four, abs are on. Five, six, seven, eight. Ready for the combo move? Six reps. Oh, I'll face you. Ready, tip, bent over row. One, stand tall, lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, seven. Yeah. Mind your weights out the way. Okay, so your next two moves, we're doing a Zotman curl. So it is a scoop, okay? You've got your light weights and you're gonna curl up and then as you come down, you turn and scoop. Scoop, you see that? So this one really works through the forearm on the biceps. Palms in, turn, 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 scoop, up. Turn, 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 scoop. So, you don't want your elbows to wing like this. You want to keep those elbows pinned in, curl up, so you're not moving. You're not widening this gap, okay? Abs on, trust me on this, you don't want to go heavy. So nice and light, and we are looking for only six reps. 
Then you're going to have 12 renegade rows. Uh, if I think what we'll do is add in the push up, let's make it eight, okay? Actually, six because it doubles. So on our renegade row, you're in plank position, and we are going to go one, one, tricep push up. That's one rep. Two, two, tricep. Actually, you pull the weight back to the hip like this. So pull the weight back to the hip, down, back to the hip. Tricep push up on the floor. All right, six reps, six reps. Zotman curl. Are you ready? Six reps. So curl up, scoop. One, two. If you don't like this on any part of the wrist or the elbow, do a hammer curl or a supinated bicep curl. Three. This is a supinated bicep curl. Four. Five, six. So we've got three rounds of this. Okay, are you ready? Come down to the floor. Hold it over hands. One, one, one. Modified option. Pull back to the hip. Back to the hip. Two. Let it come down. Nice wide feet help you with this. Five. Six. Wow. I feel my legs from this morning's insanity workout. How about you, Linda Liu? Whew. I got a heart rate going. You ready? Curl. Got the hands. Okay. Look, man. Good. Lock sit. Feeling that in the biceps? Stretching my hands. How are we doing for time? Pretty much spot on that one. No secrets. Bye. Spot on. Well done. Right. Let's stretch. So it's just a little bit of upper body burn. We're going to do one minute burn on some push ups. Then you're done. So no isometrics today, actually. It was just in case we had tons of time left. I thought I'd chuck it in. Right. Timer on. So I'm probably only going to get 
about three or four full push-ups. My arms are pretty knackered from my workout this morning already. Right, I don't mind if you're on your knees or your toes. I want beautiful square wide push-ups. Go to failure or a minute, whichever comes first. Right, let's go. So if you're modifying on your knees, shoulder to elbow, here. It's not very hard to get back up on your toes once you've done it on your knees. Turn off chest, turn off chest. Come on, push through, this is it, and we're done. Quick and easy this morning. Okay, I'm on my knees. So on my knees, I'm gonna try and go forward all the way down to the floor. You're halfway. You need to pull back, straight leg in. Eight seconds. That's you. Done. Boom. Oh, wrists more than anything. How was that? Whew. Shoulders. You can definitely feel them. So, just roll the wrist. You would have felt, definitely, if you've gone heavier in your weight. Um, it's quite a nice, easy, weighted workout to do. Triceps might feel a little tender tomorrow. Pull back and over. I can feel tightness in my shoulder and triceps now, which is good. Good, good. Ugh. Make sure you drink plenty of water. Up and over. Little hinge. So it's great not always to do crazy uh, crazy, crazy stuff. I quite like weights. Um, and I'm sure most of you have got a decent set of weights at home now, after a year of being locked in. Shoulders back. Feeling that. Should be feeling it all down the delts on the side. Brace, round. Separate shoulder blades, turn to chest. Ugh, nice. Just hang down, round. All right, that is us. Those of you coming back for the next class, it's Monday, so the next class is half past 11. And I will see you then. Bye.